Hi, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I have a coffee table size junk journal to share with you. And it is gnome themed. This is for Virginia. She sponsored me making this journal quite a while ago and it took me a while to get it finished. I love how it came out though. So I had a gnome book that had a dust jacket on it. And when I took the dust jacket off, there was this adorable like gold kind of foiled gnome on the front. So I used this book cover and when I sewed in the signatures, I sewed on buttons on the spine. And there's a sari silk um, closure. So hopefully I can keep this in frame. It's kind of big. So she didn't want a whole ton of embellishing, rather simple. So the idea of a coffee, type ta coffee table junk journal, for me at least, is to have a big book where you can put pictures and write family notes and signatures. It's kind of like a memory book. So here's the inside of the cover. This is the fabric reinforcing the spine. I added a little tape measure. So this book belongs to, and then here we have a little gnome. It says, hey there, an established stamp. There's a moth clip and, and birds in their nests. This is from my Feathered Friends book, um, kit. There's just little bits and pieces clipped on. Little journal cards and places to journal. Here's a bag. This is from Above Par Crafts. I love to stitch around three edges and then use that to glue it on. There's a piece of paper in there. Here's a vintage bird image and there's some like leaf here. There's coffee dyed paper. And so what I did to make the pages big enough is I took these strips of paper that were two inches wide and 12 inches long because this is 12 inches. And then I folded it in half and stitched, glued and then stitched them onto the papers on either side so that it would be longer and wider. Um, so I've done some stenciling kind of like, the, it's a Tim Holtz like the Christmas sweater stencil and I thought that was kind of cute for like the gnomes clothing and stuff and so we have a big tag and a little woodland drawing card. This is from Calico Collage. It's one of her Simply Autumn journal pages that I shrunk down to a journal card size. And then I've done a lot of spraying, ink spraying, and a little bit of a curtain here. And then um, clipped on the back of this curtain is this, it's kind of like a bookmark, but it's more of a dangle. There's an owl and a little green bead, and they hang out the bottom of the book. And then, oh, where did this, oh, no, that's not, something else, sorry. Just, I've done stamping and inking, lots of places to write. I really liked this Distress Spray Stain because I thought it looked like dirt and mud splatter, kind of like a little gnome. Lots of places to put titles. This is a tuck spot where she can tuck something behind it. She just asked for a few pockets and tucks, so I definitely went above and beyond that but I really wanted to put more than just a couple things. Here's a little envelope to tuck things in. Um, so I did add more than she asked for. There's a little house, like a gnome house stamp. Lots of places for adding photographs and journaling about the family or your garden or anything you'd like. And then along the side here, we have a gnome. Can you see him? A gnome button flower button it's hard to get this whole book in frame and the heart button I love this green flower stamp and then it has perfect pearls on it and then there's pages from that gnome book throughout here as well here's a tag that opens up so you can map photos on the inside Adorable, adorable images. There's a gold uh, owl stamp on the top of this one. I've done some coffee dye spraying as well. This is, um, I don't know. That's not about Park Crafts. Not sure. I think she sells those though. Here's a fence stamp. This comes off and there's lots of room for journaling. And then there's a vintage flower page. This is for a large picture or doing collaging. There's an extra clip with a blue bow on it here. And all of these edges, they're stitched on, so they're really secure, they're not going anywhere. Lots of layering and green butterfly stamps there. I'm gonna have to glue that back down, 
place to journal. There's a little flower embellishment cluster in the bottom there. I like how the stamps framed this page. It is simple, but it is full of fun. I think this would be so much fun to add. I love that leaf stamp. And then how the Distress Spray Stain looked like this washed out mud splatter. So many cute images. Done more stamping and stenciling. So I've done a few smaller pages folded in half just to add interest, but I tried overall to keep the pages pretty big. Here's a pocket for her to tuck things in. And then a happiness card certified stamp, and we've come to the end. So much fun. I have another one I'm going to be starting soon. That is a floral one, and I can't wait to share that with you. I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you for watching.